Neil Taylor winner first tonight. David Knowles will be looking to improve upon his first outing. He can one with a two to watch in this race. Number 14 up for the tape to where they go. Neil Taylor's got away. 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 Neil Taylor
He's back on the bike, but uh, he's got going again. Number 332. Mr. Durrell, drop it on that top bend. Stephen Durrell is getting closer and closer to Neil Scopes. He's right on his back wheel now. He's going to take the outside line on the top bend. And Neil riding a very steady line around there, but Stephen Durrell going wide. Is he overdone it or not? But Neil's back in front. Towards the checkered flag, as Tupac Barber's going to get in the way. Oh, it's going to be neck and neck. I think it's Neil, or is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Extremely close. The back markers were getting closer and closer to him. Very close position there as well, with John Dormer just leading another bunch of three. This equally could be a contest for the British Championships in this particular event. It promises to be a cracker. They're already under starters' orders. The tapes go. Look to see who's made the best of the starts. Paul Miller has had an absolutely brilliant start. He gets to the middle of the field, but also Alan Peck has gone with him. Alan Peck looks to go wide, but it's Paul Miller that's got to the front. He's gone wide now. Up the inside, gets in front of Alan Peck as they go into this bottom corner. Paul Miller gets to the front, but again he's gone very wide. You can see Kevin Lyde has now moved through into first place. Oh, we're all looking, I'm sure, for where Richard Piggott was, and he's back in fifth place at the moment. Alan Peck going the wrong way round. Ryder Cox now moves through in the third place. Well, Paul Miller won't give up this lead very easily. He'll be desperately trying to get round Kevin Lyde as he gets towards the front. Kevin Lyde and Vic Boy go holding on to the race at the moment. Getting very, very close now is Paul Miller. It's getting close for that first horse. He's got a plate and already is going after Lionel Cox. Well, Paul Miller is also going after Kevin Lyde. Kevin is riding a terrific race at the moment. He really hasn't put a foot wrong as he goes into this top bend for the last time. Goes down the hill. This is where he's been put in for the last time. He's going to go to the outside, indeed he does. He's been riding the wider lines as he comes around this top bend. Cuts underneath, tries to get up the inside, and he really does get up the inside. Oh, and a terrific last bend from Paul Miller. He did it Kevin Lyde into the fact that he was going to go around the outside. Then intelligent riding, he pulls it his hard, hopes he can get enough drive to get up the inside. He did just that. What a terrific side car final we've had. Here we go then, the gate goes up and in the middle Peter Lloyd gets a lot of drive and on the far side we'll kick out Trevor Banks and Simon Cross who make it easy to see that the best of on. Simon Cross on the inside of Trevor Banks as they go round that bend for the first time. Simon Cross half a length uh, ahead of Trevor Banks and almost side by side once again they come round the paddock bend for the first time. So Simon Cross out in front, Trevor Banks in second place, Lee Lallum third, Glenn coming in fourth, Dean Gart behind him and then Peter Lloyd. So it's Simon Cross bidding to score a victory in his first outing and tragedy here. Problems for 141 Richard Empson, the young rider who's been doing so well this year. Meanwhile, to our left, it's the leader. It's Simon Cross who comes towards us. Trevor Banks looks over his shoulder anxiously because it's Glenn Cunningham up into third. Lee Lanham now back to fourth. And Peter Lloyd battling with Dean Gott for the fifth place. But it's Simon Cross then out in front. Trevor Banks looking secure in that second spot, but. Uh, Glenn Kelly is still hard after him as he comes around that top bend. Epson sadly pushing away. One more lap to go. It's Simon Cross up in front. And look at Glenn coming out. Beautiful manoeuvre. So it's Glenn coming out. Chasing the leader, Simon Cross. Trevor Banks in third place as we look across to the far side. Peter Lloyd still in fifth. Well... What a manoeuvre that was from Glenn Cunningham. He's going to try and do it again to Simon Cross off that bend. Is he going to get there? He does. It's Cunningham in front. Simon Cross in second place. Joe Banks third. Lee Lanham fourth. Peter Lloyd third. Sixth place being gone. Seventh place. Mike Dowling.
Rob Wilson and Tony Miles in second. Bruce Bradbury and Steve Kenshin go around the outside and trying to get that lead away from Mick Cove. They've gone a the long way round. It's Rob Wilson that looks to have the best of the challenges though. Bartholomew, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles closer all the time though. Bruce Bradbury now getting up close as well. He's in first spot and looks as if he could make a challenge for second or if not first. And I'm looking at the back of the field as well, Tim Bennett has now started to get motivated as well and starts to work his way through. But these three outfits still lock together in this battle for the first second and third. Hold it up as Tim Bennett and Steve Hargraves has got faster and faster and has got up into fourth place. Well, still this very close battle for first place. Then Big Cave just managed to hang on to the lead. Big Cave is going to be on the outside of the field. Big Cave is going to be on the inside and he's got it this time. The two outfits together as they go in that bottom end. Again, you can see Big Cave drive for a spread. He comes in hard into the back of Big Cave. Well, Wilson now has moved through, and Royce Bradley with that move has got up into second. Away they go, being held on. Sean Arbor's got an absolute fire from the end, so that's going to put a cut amongst the pigeons now. It's Josh Goodwin's gone through in the second. Mitch Gordon is in fourth place at the moment, trying to get round Barker to go for in the third place. But Sean Harvey made the best start he's made all the afternoon. That's really put the cut amongst the pigeons now. It's Harvey Lee just in second. Gordon trying to get round the edge of Goodwin. As they go in the fifth corner for the first time, Harvey Lee's got Goodwin trying to get through on the inside. Gordon trying to come round the outside. Harvey's got to cover two lines, and, and Gordon's alongside him going in that top corner once again. Harvey's the meat in the sandwich at the Gordon come round the outside. Harvey comes again. Back up the inside to retake the lead. Goodwin trying to get through that gap as well. They're three abreast for first place. And Sean Harvey and Josh Goodwin touch there. Goodwin clearly touched Sean Harvey. That moved him just offline. And Goodwin hits the front. Harvey trying to come back again. And Mitch Gordon going round the outside. Fantastic action this season of the 500 side cars. As Goodwin leads and Gordon again trying to go round the outside. Cuts it back for the inside run. As they move it on to four this time. It's Goodwin and leads in from Gordon. Holding that second place. This is Goodwin cuts right across in front of Gordon, stopped him getting through on the inside line, Gordon comes again back up the inside, there's half a bit between them going up the back for a lap number four Goodwin leads in, then Gordon in second Harvey has got the third, Mark is back in fourth place, from under second in the seat of the 500 side cars just Goodwin wins it, second is Mitch Gordon third is Sean Harvey, fabulous action between those three, Natasha Barker in four, Chris Neem in five what a great race that was Sean Harvey making the start, really put the cat amongst the pigeons there but he had to cover the inside line with Goodwin trying to get through on the inside. He had to cover the outside line with Gordon trying to get round the outside. Eventually it was too much and both Goodwin and Gordon got past him in a brilliant heat of 500 sidecar action.